Deportation is the expulsion of a person or group of people from a place or country. The term expulsion is often used as a synonym for deportation, though expulsion is more often used in the context of international law, while deportation is more used in national municipal law. Definition Definitions of deportation apply equally to nationals and foreigners. Nonetheless, in the common usage the expulsion of foreign nationals is usually called deportation, whereas the expulsion of nationals is called extradition, banishment, exile, or penal transportation. For example, in the United States, Strictly speaking, transportation, extradition, and deportation, although each has the effect of removing a person from the country, are different things, and have different purposes. Transportation is by way of punishment of one convicted of an offense against the laws of the country. Extradition is the surrender to another country of one accused of an offense against its laws, there to be tried, and, if found guilty, punished. Deportation is the removal of an alien out of the country, simply because his presence is deemed inconsistent with the public welfare and without any punishment being imposed or contemplated either under the laws of the country out of which he is sent or of those of the country to which he is taken." Expulsion is an act by a public authority to remove a person or persons against his or her will from the territory of that state. A successful expulsion of a person by a country is called a deportation. According to the European Court of Human Rights, collective expulsion is any measure compelling non nationals, as a group, to leave a country, except where such a measure is taken on the basis of a reasonable and objective examination of the particular case of each individual non national of the group. Mass expulsion may also occur when members of an ethnic group are sent out of a state regardless of nationality. Collective expulsion, or expulsion en masse, is prohibited by several instruments of international law. History Deportations widely occurred in ancient history. In Achaemenid Empire Deportation was practiced as a policy toward rebellious people in Achaemenid Empire. The precise legal status of the deportees is unclear, but ill treatment is not recorded. Instances include In Parthian Empire Unlike in the Achaemenid and Sasanian periods, records of deportation are rare during the Arsacid Parthian period. One notable example was the deportation of the Mards in Carrix, near Rages by Freyats I. The 10,000 Roman prisoners of war after the Battle of Carhae appear to have been deported to Alexandria Margiana near the eastern border in 53 BC, who are said to married to local people. It is hypothesized that some of them founded the Chinese city of Li Jian after becoming soldiers for the Xiong Nu, but this is doubted. Hyrcanus II, the Jewish king of Judea, was settled among the Jews of Babylon in Parthia after being taken as captive by the Parthian Jewish forces in 40 BC. Roman POWs in the Antonese Parthian War may have suffered deportation. In Sassanid Empire Deportation was widely used by the Sasanians, especially during the wars with the Romans. During Shapur I's reign, the Romans including Valerian who were defeated at the Battle of Edessa were deported to Persis. Other destinations were Parthia, Khuzestan, and Asoristan. There were cities which were founded and were populated by Romans prisoners of war, including Shad Shapur in Mishan, Bishapur in Persis, Wazurg Shapur Ukbara, Marw Habur, and Gundeshapur. Agricultural land were also given to the deportees. These deportations initiated the spread Christianity in the Sasanian Empire. In Ru Ardashir Rishar, Yaranshar, Persis, there was a church for the Romans and another one for Carmanians. In the mid-3rd century, Greek-speaking deportees from northwestern Syria were settled in Kashgar, Mesopotamia. After the Arab incursion into Persia during Shapur II's reign, he scattered the defeated Arab tribes by deporting them to other regions. 
Somewhere deported to Bahrain and Kerman, possibly to both populate these unattractive regions due to their climate and bringing the tribes under control. In 395 AD, 18,000 Roman populations of Safin, Armenia, Mesopotamia, Syria, and Cappadocia were captured and deported by the Huns. The prisoners were freed by the Persians as they reached Persia, and were settled in Slok and Kokba. The author of the text Liber Califerum has praised the king Yazdegerd I for his treatment of the deportees, who also allowed some to return. Major deportations occurred during the Anastasian War, major deportations occurred during the campaigns of Khosrau I from the Roman cities of Sura, Baroya, Antioch, Apamea, Kalinicum, and Batnai in Azrain, to Way Antioch Khosrau, also known as Rumagan, in Arabic, Al Rumaya. The city was founded near Cte Siphon especially for them, and Khosrau reportedly, "...did everything in his power to make the residents want to stay". The number of the deportees is recorded to be 292,000 in another source. <laughs> <laughs> Military occupation Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention prohibits the deportation of people into or out of occupied territory under belligerent military occupation. Individual or mass forcible transfers, as well as deportations of protected persons from occupied territory to the territory of the occupying power or to that of any other country, occupied or not, are prohibited, regardless of their motive. The occupying power shall not deport or transfer parts of its own civilian population into the territory it occupies. <inaudible> external deportation All countries reserve the right to deport persons without right of abode even those who are long-time residents or possess permanent residency. In general, foreigners who have committed serious crimes, entered the country illegally, overstayed or broken the conditions of their visa, or otherwise lost their legal status to remain in the country may be administratively removed or deported. In some cases, even citizens can be deported, Saudi Arabia and the UAE for example. Some Western countries also have the ability to deport citizens, if they have another nationality or if they acquire citizenship through fraud. In many cases, deportation is done by the government's executive apparatus, and as such is often subject to a simpler legal process or none, with reduced or no right to trial, legal representation or appeal due to the subject's lack of citizenship. For example, in the 1930s, during the Great Depression, more stringent enforcement of immigration laws were ordered by the executive branch of the U.S. government, which led to the expulsion of up to two million Mexican nationals from the United States. In 1954, the executive branch of the U.S. government implemented Operation Wetback, a program created in response to public hysteria about immigration and immigrants from Mexico. Operation Wetback led to the deportation of nearly 1.3 million Mexicans from the United States. Between 2009 and 2016, about 3.2 million people were deported from the United States. Since 1997 U.S. mass deportations of non-citizens particularly convicted felons have risen steadily with the passing into law by the U.S. Congress of the 1996 Illegal Immigration Reform and Responsibility Act which brought sweeping changes to the threshold for deportation of convicted felons that have been criticized by some as having human rights abuses. Since this time, the former U.S. Immigration and Naturalization Services has been transformed into Immigration and Customs Enforcement and has renamed deportation as, "...expedited removal". The ICE website publishes removal statistics annually on its website According to recent numbers ICE removed a total of 240,255 aliens in FY 2016, a 2% 2 increase over FY 2015, but a 24% decrease from FY 2014. Already in natural law of the 18th century, philosophers agreed that expulsion of a nation from the territory that it historically inhabits is not allowable. In the late 20th century, the United Nations drafted a code related to crimes against humanity. Article 18 of the Draft Code of Crimes Against the Peace and Security of Mankind declares, large scale, arbitrary or forcible deportation to be a crime against humanity. Deportation often requires a specific process that must be validated by a court or senior government official. 
It should not be confused with administrative removal, which is the process of a country denying entry to individuals at a port of entry and expelling them. Internal deportation Deportation can also happen within a state, when for example, an individual or a group of people is forcibly resettled to a different part of the country. If ethnic groups are affected by this, it may also be referred to as population transfer. The rationale is often that these groups might assist the enemy in war or insurrection. For example, the American state of Georgia deported 400 female mill workers during the Civil War on the suspicion they were Northern sympathizers. During World War II, Joseph Stalin see population transfer in the Soviet Union ordered the deportation of Volga Germans, Chechens, Crimean Tatars, Ukrainians, and others to areas away from the front, including Central and Western Soviet Union. Some historians have estimated the number of deaths from the deportation to be as high as one in three among some populations. On February 26, 2004, the European Parliament characterized deportations of the Chechens as an act of genocide. The Soviet Union also used deportation, as well as instituting the Russian language as the only working language and other such tactics, to achieve Russification of its occupied territories, such as the Baltic nations and Bessarabia. In this way, it removed the historical ethnic populations and repopulated the areas with Russian nationals. The deported people were sent to remote, scarcely populated areas or to gulag labor camps. It has been estimated that, in their entirety, internal forced migrations affected some 6 million people. Of these, some 1 to 1.5 million perished. After World War II, approximately 50,000 Hungarians were deported from South Slovakia by Czechoslovak authorities to the Czech borderlands in order to alter the ethnic composition of the region. Between 110,000 and 120,000 Japanese and Japanese Americans on the West Coast, as well as about 3,000 Italian American and about 11,500 German American families, were forcibly resettled from the coasts to internment camps in interior areas of the United States of America by President Franklin Roosevelt. In the late 19th and early 20th century, deportation of union members and labor leaders was not uncommon in the United States during strikes or labor disputes. For an example, see the Bisbee deportation. Topic: <inaudible> Colonial deportations. Deporting individuals to a colony is a special case that is neither completely internal nor external. Such deportation has occurred in history. For example, after 1717, Britain deported around 40,000 religious objectors and criminals to America before the practice ceased in 1776. The criminals were sold by jailers to shipping contractors, who then sold them to plantation owners. The criminal was forced to work for the plantation owner for the duration of their sentence. The loss of America as a colony, Australia became the destination for criminals deported to British colonies. More than 160,000 criminals were transported to Australia between 1787 and 1855. <inaudible> <inaudible> Criminal deportation <inaudible> Deportation during World War II Nazi Germany Nazi policies openly deported homosexuals, Jews, Poles, and Romani from their native places of residence to Nazi concentration camps or extermination camps set up at a considerable distance from their original residences. This was the policy officially known as the «final solution». The historical term «deportation» Occurring frequently instead of the religious term Holocaust in various locations, thus means in effect, "...sent to their deaths", as distinct from deportations in other times and places. <inaudible> <inaudible> Independent state of Croatia An estimated 120,000 Serbs were deported from the independent state of Croatia to German-occupied Serbia, and 300,000 fled by 1943. <laughs> Noteworthy deportees 
Alexander Berkman, Emma Goldman, C. L. R. James, Claudia Jones, Fritz Julius Kuhn, Lucky Luciano, and Anna Sage were all deported from the United States by being arrested and brought to the Federal Immigration Control Station on Ellis Island in New York Harbor and, from there, forcibly removed from the United States. <laughs> Popular culture In literature, deportation appears as an overriding theme in the 1935 novel, Strange Passage by Theodore D. Irwin. Films depicting or dealing with fictional cases of deportation are many and varied. Among them are Ellis Island 1936, Exile Express 1939, Five Came Back 1939, Deported 1950, and Gambling House 1951. More recently, Shadas treated the issue of U.S. deportation to the Caribbean Post 1997. See also <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>